Are you interested in increasing revenue, decreasing marketing expenses, making your annual bonus, exceeding or meeting your sales goals? Well, I'm gonna give you four strategies to resuscitate your database, to give your database a heartbeat. Oftentimes, we think about leads, that we need more leads and we need more people to talk to. Well, they always say that the fortune is in the follow-up, but the fortune and the gold mine is your database. Many people never touch their database. They're always chasing the new sale and they're always hustling really hard, but their database is sitting there wanting to be resuscitated. It wants someone to give it a heartbeat, which means that these days, a lot of people want more connection. Business owners want more connection. They want to build more relationships. You know, it seems like social media and email campaigns and that kind of thing keep us more connected, but they actually keep us more disconnected. My name is Tanya and I am the founder and owner of Sell Your Ask Off, a sales training company where I teach sales professionals how to ask for the business, sell with confidence, build their pipeline, and make more money. Number one is to prioritize your database. Prioritize your database based on who's actually giving you the business and pull out the top 20%. The top 20% is probably feeding your business, keeping it alive. And when you prioritize your database, you should put aside the people that are actually giving you business and people that are actually giving you referrals. Because sometimes we have people in our database that have never actually worked with us and don't have a need for us, but they are our best referral sources. Number two is make time to connect. Oftentimes we are chasing leads and we're doing busy work and we're not providing excellent customer service. And so our database and our customers, they're not getting the attention that they need. And you know what happens when they don't get the attention they need? They do less business with you or they do more business with your competitors. And when I say make time for your clients, if you are a sales professional and you're in, in a business development role and you're constantly out talking to people and you are busy, 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 then hire somebody to help you. Give a referral fee of 20%. Do not hoard your leads. I've seen too many companies um, let their sales professionals hoard their leads and hoard their database as if they own it. And then what happens is they don't want to upset the salesperson because they don't want the salesperson to leave. But think about it. If you had a couple people working on those leads and you worked out some sort of compensation plan, you not only get to keep those customers as opposed to them hopping over to a competitor, you get to sell them more, you build long-term relationships, and of course, you increase revenue, meet your sales goals or exceed them, and possibly even keep your job if you're in a sales management or a sales director role. Number three is LinkedIn. Add them to LinkedIn or add them to your professional network. We are so disconnected these days where we thought that maybe social media would keep us connected, but people are wanting more connection. They want to build relationships. And when you build solid business relationships, they will refer you all the time and you don't have to go hustle. You have your clients working for you. LinkedIn is one of the best professional networks to be on. Uh, you can go through your database, add everybody there, and one thing that you can do is you could give back and you can ask. Ask for the business, ask for the referral. So while you um, are connecting with your clients, you could give them a recommendation or give them a referral, and when you do that, their entire network sees that, and most likely they will reciprocate. There is a feature on LinkedIn where you can ask for recommendations and it is one of the best tools for people to go to to see your recommendations and your testimonials. Not to mention the reason why LinkedIn is a great tool is because you are in their site. Out of sight, out of mind. I have people coming to me every single day that are frustrated with the fact that they cannot leverage their experience anymore. They are some of the best in their industry. They have some of the biggest networks and some of the biggest databases, 
but they're having trouble selling themselves and meeting or exceeding their goals or even keeping their jobs. And it's because they are not taking advantage of technology, of social media and social channels. While you don't have to get caught up in the whole social media frenzy, you do have to be everywhere and have your profiles up so people can see what you're doing. It isn't essential for success. However, in this world of social media and video, your competitors and even your internal competitors are going to be marketing themselves better and have a better positioning strategy. So leverage LinkedIn especially and social media to get your name out there and let people know that you are still that go-to expert. And number four is get them on some sort of marketing campaign, an email campaign, Infusionsoft, HubSpot, Aweber. Um, do something where you're in front of them. I have a coach right now that keeps telling me, you know what, Tanya? It's not in the words. It's not in the copy. It's not your perfect PDF or your perfect website. The fortune, even on an email campaign, is in the follow-up. The fortune is staying in front of them and following up because it takes 7 to 12 attempts for someone to do business with you and sometimes longer. So if you take all of these strategies, you are going to increase revenue, decrease marketing expenses, connect with your clients more, get more referrals, and sell your ask off. So if you like these tips, follow me here on LinkedIn. I have sales videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter at Sell Your Ask Off, and I would love to earn your business to help your sales team sell their ass off, ask for the business, and sell with confidence. <laughs>